Hello. It's been two weeks since I had my surgery. And I went in and seen the um, surgeon's physician's assistant today. He took off the tape that goes across the wound. And he circled it with red, or I mean purple ink, because it was red underneath. And he's not sure, and there's a nice big lump right there. It's the size of a um, ping pong ball. So they're not sure if I got an infection in there or if I was just having a reaction from the tape. So he said, call him within two days. If it, you know, if it gets better, call him anyway. If it doesn't get better tomorrow or it starts getting worse, and call him so they can give me some antibiotics and see what they're going from there but as you can see it's really red and there's a little white spot right there it's kind of like the it might be a little pus head right there which I'm hoping it's not an infection because those could turn out not very good so but anyway that cir he circled it with ink at the edge of the the little pins they got at the edge of the red spot and he's like keep an eye on it if the red goes outside of that mark then it's expanding or if it doesn't get better within two days then call him so I started in the middle of last week so a week and a half after surgery I started I started the swelling and I said when I would touch it the um, the tape it would start it would sting so he said there's a possibility that I got an infection going on which is a side effect from getting a surgery and it could be just you know the swelling because they went through the same um, scar channel where they did my first surgery in 2016 so I know it's kind of nasty looking my other one by now it was like it was couldn't even barely tell that I just had a scar there or just had a scar there this one's all red so said so I'm um, on Wednesday if it doesn't get any better he will prescribe me some antibiotics and figure out what they need to do from then I don't know if they'd have to poke it and drain it out if it's infection inside there or not but not looking forward to it that if it's just have to take antibiotics it won't be so bad but, yeah <laughs> my poor kids are like ew ew cover it up it's like nasty but, yeah I know but now yeah, starting like I said it started swelling and now when I swallow it's kind of I can feel the lump over there it doesn't really hurt too much just a little bit and then sometimes it stings a little bit when I'm swallowing but that's more on the skin but it's still got that little lump right there so we shall see what that turns out to be in a couple days I'm hoping it'll just go away but <sighs> anyway everything else is going good this besides this infection or patch or whatever it is Actually, it feels a lot better than my first surgery, but I think it helps that I'm wearing that brace all the time on my neck. Because last time when I didn't have the brace, you know, you end up turning your head and it's like, you try to hold as much still as you can, but it's kind of impossible. So that's where that brace helps because it kind of locks it in place. I ended up buying one of those soft ones that Walgreens, sorry about that, that's my fan in the bathroom, if you're listening to that noise, at home and, but bought one of those soft ones at Walgreens and that helped quite a bit but I tried putting that on the other day and it actually you know I put that one on, it stings because it rubs that little spot right there and well, that one actually worked good I mean, it doesn't give you the support to hold your neck from turning. I mean, it does a little bit, but not like those hard plastic ones. But that hard plastic one has that big opening right there, so it's actually not touching the wound. 
but when you do those soft ones they just kind of fit up there tight and they squeeze against it so when you got something that's hurting on the outside or towards the edge then you can really feel it so anyway but the painkillers I got last time the first one I had to get a second prescription of the painkillers I went and seen the doctor two weeks after I had to get more painkillers then because the stuff just it just kept on hurting and it never really stopped then I had the second surgery when it started went to the ne next disc and I don't have all the but right there in the back of my neck I had um, it was all cramped and right after surgery the first time and it just never went away ended up having to put um, a lot of that pain yellow rub and stuff on there all the time and that didn't seem to work I used some of those CBD oil patches I'll do a review on those too but actually those I started using those a couple months ago and those things actually work really good you can get the ones without any THC in them so you're not don't have any dope running through your system or you can get some with just barely 1% or whatever and it's, that wouldn't test anyway or not 1% yeah, however the count is but the patches I was using I'll, to, like I said, I'll do a review on those they actually work pretty good got those at the health food store and they kind of controlled the pain pretty good I ended up three weeks ago I ended up um, well my lower back was hurting for about a month but they didn't work on that on my lower back pain they didn't do nothing for that but on my neck pain that one it helped quite a bit I'd say it knocked the pain down by 50 60 percent then I went to one of the marijuana shops in town and got some of their CBD oil cream and rubbed that on there and I did the same thing this the patches it just pretty much knocked the pain way down so that CBD oil works really good but if you ever buy the hemp oil the hemp oil is not going to do nothing unless it's got the CBD oil in, or the CBD in it. That hemp oil you can buy on Amazon, that's got all the stuff taken out of it. I mean, it's still got, you know, vitamins and stuff like that if you're going to, you know, eat it or whatever. But it doesn't have the, most of that doesn't have the CBD oil in it and stuff for the inflammation and painkiller and all that stuff. So. yeah anyway it's actually feeling a lot better I will, took my brace off so I could just I just took a shower so I could wash some of that stickies off of there that tape is very very sticky and it's still really sticky I don't even think we're still sticking to it so anyway but yeah when I swallow it's getting a little stinging feeling and stuff going on so hopefully getting some antibiotics will knock it out or whatever it is but like I said that lump is I won't co cover it no more it's kind of nasty but it's like that my Adam's apple which is way down here you can't, can't even feel that because this lump right here is just so much bigger than it it's like like I said it's the size of a golf ball it's that big so you can see right on top of that there's a little white pocket right there so that might be the head of a pus pocket Oof. <laughs> so we shall see I will let you know in a couple days what happens if it goes away or with that tape gone and if it was just a reaction from the tape or if it's an infection yeah it kind of when I swallow I can feel it in there now from this pressure from that thing. So. But yeah, this one actually went a lot better than the first one. But So, if you get a surgery, make sure the doctor gives you the brace, the hard plastic one. Just the uh, Velcro strips on the side to put the pieces together because they come in two pieces. 
make sure you get one of those because it's a lifesaver. I think that's what helped me a lot this time. So anyway, because that has nothing to do with the infection or whatever's going on, but the pain and everything right there just keeps you from turning it. Kind of sleeping on a pillow. You have to have a really fluffy pillow because sometimes I can lay on my side on the couch and sleep. I go back and forth from the couch to the recliner. So yeah, half my night or three quarters of my nights in the recliner. And the problem is that um, plastic right here at the base of your skull. It it's got it's got a hump right there, so kind of can give you a headache. I'm sitting there jabbing into the back of your head or um, skull right there, which it does for me. So I go back and forth from the couch to whatever. It's getting kind of late, so I am getting ready for bed. So thanks for watching the videos, everyone. I will keep my camping and review videos coming. So. Just go ahead and subscribe or whatever and I will keep doing updates on this neck and what's going on with that. And got some several things I want to review that I got over Christmas and stuff, so gotta keep my channel going. Alright, give me some likes and subscribe. Alright, thanks guys.